we saw a woman who lived in a mobile home. And all of us know that when these weather catastrophes occur, it's oftentimes the people with the least that suffer the most. She came out of her mobile home and walked across a deep mud drenched field in Barry, Vermont, towards us and the governor with a little pail that represented toys of her children. And she really had no place to go. Her mom had suffered flood damage as well, and they were huddling together with her, her partner, and her kids. And what's so hard is it's easy to understand the challenge that that father had, that mother had, <clears throat> and we're there, and it's hopeful for them that we show up, that our federal admin, uh, FEMA administrator was there with her team. But what we know is that tomorrow, when the sun is shining, hopefully, because more rain can be forecast, her life has to go on, but it's without the foundation that she built, that that father I mentioned built, over 30 years. So that's the heartbreak. It's really, really hard for folks who have established the stability in their lives to see that business that they had committed themselves to and worked so hard to establish, that home that they cared for and tended, that home where they provided security to their family. The mystery to them is what's gonna happen. And it's why it is so important for us and I'm asking my colleagues for their support, that we do the minimum, and the minimum is at least get those federal resources from FEMA back to Vermont, which is in a state of emergency and where so many Vermonters have suffered very significant loss. They're willing to face it. People do that. They know they've got to clean that house up, but they've got to have some help. And it's help that they get from their neighbors, it's a help, they, but it also has to be help that they get from the government that has to back folks up when through no fault of their own, there's a catastrophic weather event and it does so much damage to the lives and livelihoods of so many. So Senator Sanders and Congresswoman Ballant and I certainly were very proud of the Vermont response from the governor to the administrators to our press that's on the case. But we've got a job here, and I am going to be asking my colleagues for us to do that which only the federal government can do, and that is provide those financial resources to help folks when there's been a weather emergency where they live. And if there's any base level function of government to try to bring us together as a community, as the United States of America, is to stand up and help folks, whether it's in Vermont or it's in Louisiana or it's in deep Texas, wherever it is, when there's an event through no fault of their own, where the weather is doing so much damage, I think each of us re reveres the opportunity we can have to help our colleague and the folks that our colleagues represent. Vermont needs help now.